everyone. I'm Tammy Reese with Tales from the Media here at New Jersey Horicon with Jameson Newlander, who plays Alan Frog in The Lost Boys. Iconic film. I'm so excited to chat with you about it. Growing up off The Lost Boys, I absolutely love the film. What made you want to be a part of it? So, uh, you know, like when I was an actor uh, in uh, as a teenager, this was this kind of movie, like everybody in town auditioned for this movie, you know. So, so it was like... Uh, First of all, an honor to even be asked to audition, and then getting the the role. There was no way I couldn't do it. You know, it was like it's just such a good group of people, a group of actors. Joel Schumacher was a a good friend of my acting teacher, so it was just seemed like a good natural fit. And like, it was all kind of magical from there. You know what I mean? Your character worked in the comic book store, and you had so much knowledge about vampires. What else would you say would describe Alan Frog? What else you mean beyond vampires and comic books? That's interesting. That's a good question. I, you know, it's like I've been with this character for a long time because we did the sequels as well, and so I had to think about it. And I would say that, um, you know, something that might be a little bit of a spoiler for the third one, but uh, is that uh, uh, Alan Frog's into taxidermy? Yeah, sort of uh, taking the blood from animals, and you know, kind of like Grandpa did in the first one. So. A little bit, of, little bit of stuff. Why do you think the Lost Boys is still iconic to this day? Like, I love the soundtrack, I love the script, I love the cast. What else do you think makes the Lost Boys just so beloved in 2024? So, like, that's a great question, and I've thought about this a lot because when we do these panels and stuff, people ask this. Audience members are, are sort of, you know, it's the same thing. It's like you know overwhelmed by like how even in, in this day in this day and what 38 years later people are loving it I think that it has to do with the fact that Joel Schumacher didn't want to just make a vampire movie you know he he wanted to make a movie that was like universal that it was about family and brotherhood and about being a teenager you know and so I think that's what it is it's like he, he hit on these themes and these way of expressing these themes that that we all can kind of relate to, and I think that's what it is. I think that's the longevity. Are you still in touch with any of the cast members, either personally or when you're doing other conventions? Yeah, I, I see them. I see a lot of them. A lot of these guys at at conventions, which is great. It's like a reunion for all of us every time we do these things. And then actually, Corey Feldman and I live not too far from each other, and you know, he used to have a poker game every every week with. You know, I did it. Some other actors you might have recognized from like '80s movies and things like that. We would do it, and it was just a lot of fun. He's a he's a good guy. He's, you know, in out you know in the press and everything. He's just he's out there and he's you know he's he's really big personality. But he's also uh, he's been a friend for a long time. You know, we've been we've known each other since we were 15. You know, and so he's a good friend. He's a, he's a he's a really nice guy. He's a sweet guy. You know, and Jason Patrick also. I've been starting to be good friends with Jason Patrick because he's doing these conventions. So I'm seeing him and like, what a great guy. He's like an older brother to me, kind of. You know what I mean? Amazing, legendary actor as well. To new generations that come across the Lost Boys, what would you like to tell them they should brace themselves for if they've never seen it before? So this is one of the more chill horror movies, you know. So if you're someone who is not, doesn't have the stomach for, you know, serious horror, this has got only a little bit of that and some comedy and it's about brotherhood a lot. You know, it's like we got the, the brotherhood of the vampires, the brotherhood of the Emerson brothers, Corey Haim and Jason Patrick. And, and then we got the Frog Brothers. You know, there's a lot of groups of brothers about family and stuff. So I think be braced for the fact that you might even shed a tear, you know, for the you might feel something for these people who become vampires, you know. I agree wholeheartedly. Jameson, what are you working on right now? So I got a bunch of things. I kind of went back to acting. You know, I was acting uh, in, in theater for a long time in New York, and it and it, 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 it sort of my film career, you know, didn't advance for a number of years. And around Lost Boys Three, the, Lost Boys the Thirst, which is, I guess, almost 15 years ago now, I started doing some more acting roles. You know, so I've been doing a bunch of things like that. I have a film coming out called Mr. Manhattan next month. Thank you, thank you. And um, I'm doing this show, I actually have a poster for it. It's like, uh, I'm going up to the Santa Cruz locations of the of Lost Boys. 
and and like you know this is all that's the boardwalk like current present day those colors and everything yeah and so checking out the old locations and and like talking about them and bringing on other cast members and stuff we found the the frog dad the the guy who's behind us in the comic book store you know our parents who are behind us we found this guy and he he was on our show and he um, he's been in Santa Cruz the whole time you know so like just finding hidden gems like that it's a, it's check it out it's on my my YouTube channel it's really cool you know honor to meet you growing up just loving horror the lost boys is definitely one of my favorites and also the movie got me loving the doors yeah right yeah it's a nice little callback for the doors it worked out that jason had jason looked like jim morrison a little bit yeah exactly which i think was i could must have been accidental i i can't imagine that they're casting for a jim morrison look alike you know but he has that same sort of like fierce good looks you know of jim morrison and so yeah i think that that probably is what brought them to, to use that song to use uh, People Is Strange. I remember watching people watching the the trailer. You know, it's like I was in this movie, but I hadn't seen the trailer yet. You know, and that song was playing. People Is Strange was playing, and I I I didn't really know the Doors before that. I mean, I knew who they were, but I didn't love them. So that's what happened to you. You. Yeah. Yes. That's great. Thank you again, Jameson. So nice to meet you. Enjoy Horicon. Thanks a lot. Good to talk to you all. Thank <laughs> you.